my name is Brooklyn Hawkins. I'm part of the TE Reflections of Learning uh, course for my global learning project. This is my first video. Okay, so my own culture is that I'm from a small town in Michigan of the United States and I grew up within a village less than about 2,000 people so I knew everyone and in a small public high school. That's my cultural background with two parents and a little sister on a lake and uh, when I and then later my parents separated so I'm also from the divorced culture uh, but uh, my values from my culture background are that I learned, I'm from a, a Christian background in a small community religion, so I'm told to be modest when taking compliments, but also being very kind and etiquette and respecting my elders, as well as being polite and courteous to everyone, and especially in a small town, that's important because your actions reflect who you are to a person who knows you or to a later person who will meet you from other people. And then my um, my culture is uh, the generation that uh, lives in the United States and is from a small community, but also sharing modest American values. Um, my dad taught me um, that he was taught from his father from a generation to generation was the phrase, work first, play later. So I learned to put all my responsibilities and my uh, things I need to get done first so that I could enjoy life when I had the opportunity to and to always stay ahead of the game because life is a competition as my mother always says. Um, I, growing up in middle school, uh, basically all through 1 through 12K, I played sports and I learned that in order to continue with sports which is my favorite part of high school I had to continue to keep good grades and to do leadership roles to excel in those sport activities so I learned um, a lot about determination and integrity as long as responsibility to keep everything really the way I wanted it to and to make sure that I knew what I could do and if I did excel, especially in a certain sport, and I was complimented or praised for it, I would always was taught to accept the compliment, but always accept it with modesty and also compliment the other person back, thanking them, just to keep a really cordial relationship with everyone. I thought that was really important growing up because um, later in life it taught me uh, how to interact with people, even if I didn't really uh, agree with them is what I want to say. So it taught me that to, that the world is full of unique people and even though I grew up with a lot of people that were really similar to me, keeping those values and the uh, beliefs of that community really helped me expand and also my own thing of wanting to be friendly to everyone. So it gave me an open perspective instead of having a closed perspective in other beliefs and cultures. Um, My person I was thinking of is a friend's roommate, and her name is Li Zui, and she's from China. This is her first year here studying abroad, um, and I thought that would be a really great person to have this cultural uh, relationship and friendship possibly with because I don't know anyone from across any, like any other country. Um, I never left the country before, and China is fairly large and uh, is very far away, so I thought, what better person that has a different perspective than I do to really grasp the full concept of this project. Um, it definitely will take me out of my comfort zone. Uh, my roommate's friend, uh, who I know Lee from, said that she doesn't speak English well, but she tries really hard, which I really encourage and I will definitely like am impressed that she's so determined to learn English um, she has to of course but that she wants to do so well and excel in that and 
uh, from just having small talks with her, especially asking her about this project. She seemed really eager. She really wants to indulge herself, I think, in the American culture and to understand everything that is here. And I also want to understand everything's there because that would be a really great experience and we might find something really similar with each other even though we're from across the world so I'm, I'm excited to have my plans with her. Uh, my tentative plans right now are we're planning on going to dinner together at a mess hall because uh, she lives also in the dorm and uh, just having a really nice conversation about her school life, what she did as a kid and to like to get her cultural background and then also dive more into what were her beliefs and what are her beliefs now, how does she feel about herself and interacting with others and how is her values on modesty and responsibility and inflection and empathy. I am in a psychology major so empathy is a really big part of me so I am curious on how other cultures view empathy because I've noticed that some people in America struggle with understanding empathy, especially with other cultures. So I'm very curious to see if that's the same way or if it is different and they're more open empathetically with everyone. So I am excited about that and I am looking forward to being empathetic with Lee. Um, uh, and then my second interaction, I'm planning on taking her to a sports game at my high school. Uh, my old high school. I still have a sister in high school so it'll be a good chance to show her my hometown and how like my family interacts with sports as well as my whole culture does and I'm really looking forward to that because sports were just such a big part of my life and uh, especially football season that was the main reason for my excitedness to go to school I loved the culture there and I loved the experience and I hope and she's never and I asked Lee and she's never been to a football game so I'm really excited to show her that and um, she hasn't been to a football game at MSU either so maybe if she likes the high school football game which is more of a smaller crowd and it's easier to talk to her and it's not as chaotic as like an MSU game then I can definitely, maybe we can go to an MSU game together and that will be another fun experience. And maybe this, that will continue our friendship and our relationship after this project. So I'm really looking forward to this project and um, I think it'll go really well. Thank you.